Hi guys, how are you? So today I just want to share how my journey as a content creator has been for a period of one year down the line right now. Uh, for those who know, my name is Faiza Nishika Ahmad and I share about a little bit about my life and of course right now I also want to do about um, inspire other people, you know. So how are you to has changed my life for the last one year? To be honest, I've always wanted to do uh, to be a content creator. I've always wanted to be in front of the camera. But for a long time, I've been scared. And if you are one of those people who are scared, wondering what will people say, or oh, uh, it's embarrassing to appear in front of camera, or oh, how what will I say? Believe you me, I also experienced that. To be honest, I also went through that for a while there. I was hesitant, especially during the time of COVID. Um, I remember that time I really wanted to do YouTube. I was really but I had that fear in me. I was scared. I was, and then I used to look at other people who are doing it and I used to ask myself, how are they doing it? How are they managing to be in front of the camera and do what they're doing? How are they able, you know, to overcome that shyness, that fear of, of wondering what will people say about you? You know, that thing of wondering what will people say about you literally stops so many people from doing so many, uh, to achieve their dreams, to be honest. And I was one of them. I was re literally uh, scared because I used to wonder what will so and so say, or what will my neighbor say about me, or what will my friends say about me. Oh, I used to have that feeling. But at the end of the day, deep down, I knew I really wanted to do YouTube. I knew about that. So fast forward, I, I just decided, you know what? If you look at this channel, my the first first video that I did, you can literally see I, 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 my camera wasn't good. I, and I, I, that's the time where I used to say, you know what, I'm just taking these videos. Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to upload them or not, but at, at the end of the day, I'm just going to, I mean, take them. So, yes, when I used to do activities at home, my life in the traditional way, because I wanted to do something traditionally, I used to do that. Take the videos, and then, of course, I saved them, but I wasn't uploading anything like that. Then one day, I was, on, I was asking myself, you know what, so, so what if people talk about it? So what? That will it hurt me? Will it kill me? Of course not. So what? I, I used to ask myself that what? So what? Let them talk. That's what I used to say in my head. I'm talking to myself in my head and I was like, you know what? If I really want to achieve this, becoming a YouTuber, becoming a content creator, if I want to do this because this is what I want to do, then I need to overcome that fear. I need to block out, shut out the whole noise of what people are going to talk about, all that noise, just shut it out and just do what I want to do. Me, focus on me, what I want to do. Focus on me, myself, what I want to achieve. And that's one thing I realized. Uh, all these people, all these people who have done something in life, who, all these people who have done great things in life, they did one thing. They shut out all that noise and just focus on themselves. They just focus on themselves and what they want to do, what they want to achieve. So if you're out there, you're watching this video and you're wondering, how can I beat that fear? How, how can I stop that noise, that noise in my head saying, uh, what are people going to say if I do this? All I'm going to urge you is stop that noise. Just focus on you and ask yourself, what exactly do you want to achieve? What exactly do you want to achieve? And if you can ask yourself that and be honest with yourself, then the next question asked you is, just do it. Don't think about it, just do it. Yes, if that's what I did. I just did it. I did not just, you know, I didn't think twice. I just uploaded the first video, the second video, the third video, and voila, this is where I am right now. Uh, and I'm, I'm still growing. And to be honest, it really made me uh, stronger. Because right now, if people tell me, oh, Faiza, this and that, believe in me, I really don't care. I don't focus on what people say about me. Right now, I'm just focusing on me, building myself, and going after what I want to achieve in life. And one of the things which I really want to do is being a content creator. Because it has literally... Being big on YouTube has literally made me, you know, to be so open minded, to be so um, building my confidence, building my self esteem, and also trying to grow myself 
as a person, as an individual, and my confidence, my self-confidence. Because let me not lie, being in front of a camera, it's, and it's not, because um, most people, I'm not that person who likes to be out there. Yes, I'm, I'm bubbly, yes, I'm talkative, yes, and, and other times I'm very quiet. But at the end of the day, sometimes I usually don't like being in front of the camera. But since I decided to become a content creator, I realized it is part and parcel of the journey. So yes, if you look at my my other YouTube channel, it's, uh, it's called Pfizer Making Online Wealth. That's my other YouTube channel. I literally started the, the channel as a face that you use. I don't show my face at all. But recently, I decided, you know what? I'm going to step in front of the camera and I'm just going to own the channel and just show myself as this is me. This is who I am. Why? Because I want, because I have that self-confidence and I've accepted the journey and I've accepted the, the, the ups and downs that will involve being in this journey. So if you want to, to do something, all I'm going to give you this advice and tell you is just do it. Don't be scared. Just do it. Is it intimidating? Yes. Uh, is it scaring stepping out of your comfort zone? It is. But for you to grow, for you to get out of your comfort zone, you need to step out. You need to have the faith, confidence in what you, are, you want to achieve and just step out of your comfort zone. And that's what I did. Have I had people close to me who are asking me, like, what are you doing? What are you trying to do? Yes, and other people, have they tried, like, they're looking at me like maybe I'm being, um, um, like, they're, they're not understanding what I'm trying to achieve. Yes. Have I gotten stares and, 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 and some of my friends who haven't spoken for years and years, all of a sudden calling me and like, oh, baby, I've been seeing you on TikTok. I've been seeing you on YouTube. Oh, so what are you doing nowadays? I've got the, such calls, but you know what? It doesn't matter all that noise it really doesn't matter you just need for you because I've realized for me to achieve my goal I just need to focus on me my journey is it lonely it is but along the way you're gonna meet people who identify with you you're gonna meet audiences who are literally subscribing on your youtube channel and they are identified with you and they want to follow you in that journey why because they have seen something that you're sharing and they identify with and they're like you know what they're going to support you because they're getting something out of it and maybe you are impacting something positive from whatever you're sharing out there so yes if you want to do something do it is it scary yes Sometimes will you be in the mood to post content? No, I won't lie to you. There's some days I don't feel like posting content, but then I'm like, you know what? Since I'm in this journey, I'm going to do it. There are days where I'm motivated and excited. I'm like, hey, yeah, I want to post this video. So yeah, in life, that's how it is. It's not always that you're going to be motivated. No, it's just a matter of you showing up every single day, doing what you, you want to do so that you're able to achieve that goal you set up to do. So this is 2024. If the beginning of 2024, it's the second week, actually going the third week. So if you have a goal, go for it. If you have a goal that you want to achieve and you're scared and you're asking yourself, what will people say about this? Oh, what if I fail? Oh, I don't feel like doing this. But you have that goal you want to do it. My friend, get out of that comfort. Believe you me, comfort zone is a beautiful place. It's it's so comfortable. It's so nice. It's so comfortable. That's why it's called a comfort zone. It's, it's, it's such a cozy place, to be honest. But the reality is nothing good happens in a comfort zone. Nothing good grows in a comfort zone. So if you want to achieve that goal that you've set up to achieve this year, 2024, by the end of 24, you have achieved that goal. Believe you me, you have to step out of your zone, out of your comfort zone. And you need to stop that noise. You need to stop that fear, that, that, that silent noise that's telling you, oh, what if, or you need to stop it. Shut that noise. Step out of your comfort zone and just do it. Do it when you're scared. The best thing I can give you is just do it when you're scared. I did it. I started this YouTube channel when I was scared, but I did it. I was like, you know what? I'm just posting those content. Uh, will people listen to it? I don't know. Will people watch it? I don't know. Will people subscribe to my channel? I don't know. But 
what I found out is people, you will you will always find your crowd. Yes, why? Because YouTube is a is, is a billion, it has billion followers, audience worldwide. And there are so many crazy, crazy niches on YouTube that that people follow. So yes, you will follow you, you will get your crowd. The beginning is it easy? No, it's not easy when you're selling something. It's not easy to be honest. It's very lonely to be honest. And sometimes you can even question yourself, wondering, am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right track? But if you persist, if you stay on the journey, if you stay on that lane and shut out that noise and just say, even if the days you're not motivated and you still persist following that journey of yours and take those small, small actions that are going to lead you to, uh, to achieve your overall goal, believe you me, you will be successful in the long run. It's the same way it comes to you know YouTube. When everyone who is successful on YouTube, they'll always tell you, oh, just post every single day if possible and be consistent. And one day, one time, if you look at what your audience like and you, you repeat videos that your, your audience like and you become successful, that's the journey. If you look at people who have started businesses and they're successful, they'll tell you they started when they're scared. Some will tell they started with no capital, but they started. The, the most important thing is just taking that one step. And then once they started, they kept going and going. Even when they died, or the time they felt like they're not succeeding, but they still continue on, the, on their journey until they became successful. It's the same strategy. Being on that lane of yours. Stay on that lane of yours. Be persistent in that lane. During the ups and downs, you stay on that lane. You do what you need to do so that you're able to achieve your goal. And in the long run, you'll be successful. So yeah, YouTube changed my life. Uh, I'm able to, to stay in front of the camera. I'm able to talk to people. I'm able to, you know, my, the way I was and now, the, my self-confidence is, is really up there. I, I'm, I, I, and I'm looking at things in a different way. Um, I'm able also, you know, to, to 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 strike out even when I'm scared, and I'm like, you know what? I'm striking out. I'm gonna do what I want to do. And yes, I'm scared, but I'm gonna just strike out, strike out, and that's what I'm doing. So yes, YouTube changed my life for the better. With less than 400 uh, subscribers on this channel, but the changes I've seen in my life are for the better. So yes, you out there, my message for you is: go out there, get out of your comfort zone. And this 2024, make it your aim to achieve your goal. Get out of that comfort zone and do it anyway. Even when you're scared. Even when you don't, you don't know the end goal. Even you don't know what the results going to be at the end of the day. Just do it. Because why? Because you have this goal.